Welcome back to the performance video training series. In this video, we will explore the group toolbox and learn how to test an online system. With the system online, we can now control devices in real time. Clicking into test mode from the left hand column changes the workspace to the mute matrix view seen in design mode. In the left hand modal toolbox, we now see the group's control box. Each group has a mute control next to it, and there is an additional mute control for the entire venue. These groups line up with the groups created in design mode. They even have matching color bars to indicate which arrays they control. Groups can be expanded to see the arrays that they are made up of. The names we gave our arrays earlier are displayed here. Individual arrays can be expanded to see all the devices inside that array, listed by position. Groups can be renamed by double clicking on the name and entering a new one. Each group and subgroup has a mute control that toggles the mute state of all devices within that group. For example, if we toggle the venue mute, every device in the venue changes. If we toggle the mute of the main arrays group, both the left and right main unmute. If we expand the main PA group, we can toggle the mute of just the main left array. Just like in design mode, mute states can also be toggled by clicking on any device band pass or an array mute icon in the workspace. If you change the mute state of just one band pass in an array, all of the parent groups for that device show the unequal sign, indicating that there is an element within the group that is in a different state from the rest of the members of that group. Custom user groups can also be created by clicking on the new group icon. Select the devices you wish to be part of the new group. For this example, I will select all of the full range devices. Click add group at the top of the workspace and give your new group a name. Click Save, and then Exit to return to test mode. This group toolbox remains in place in all three of the online modes in performance. In test mode, underneath the groups, there is a panel for a signal generator. Turning this on enables the internal signal generator in all of the connected devices. The generator has a choice of pink noise, white noise, and a single frequency sine wave, which can be adjusted here. Increase the signal generator's gain with the slider, the plus and minus buttons, or by typing in a gain value. By enabling solo mode at the top of the workspace, we can click through each band pass quickly. After turning off solo mode, Unmute the system with any of the mute controls to test groups. When testing is complete, switch the signal generator back off. Note that exiting test mode switches the generator off automatically. The system views drop down in test mode also includes an input meters and output meters view. If we change to input meters view, a large meter is overlaid on every array. When signal is passed to the devices, we can see the live input here. The system defaults to an array view, but meters can also be viewed on a per device basis by clicking the circuit button here. In circuit view, an input meter is overlaid on every device, rather than each array. Back to the view dropdown, we can switch to the output meter view. If we unmute a group, we see the output level represented here. Now that our system is online and tested, the next step is to tune it. We will cover tune mode over the course of the next two videos.